Now with a new year comes new changes, and that's just what Neighborhood Health Plan of Rhode Island is gearing up for. Here to tell us all about their new member ID cards is Chief, Chief Growth Officer David Burnett. Good morning, David. Thanks, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so uh, changes come. A lot of people start resolutions in the new year with uh, 2019 just around the corner. What can we expect from you folks? Yeah, this is a very exciting time of year for us. It's open enrollment in the individual market, which is obviously very exciting. So folks should get out and, and uh, pick their plan for next year if you're, you purchase insurance through uh, the Health Source Rhode Island. Right. Uh, but in the coming year, we're doing something fairly exciting. We're issuing uh, new ID cards to our 200,000 members. Now, is there a cutoff date for the to, to be able to sign up? Uh, with the uh, open enrollment period, I believe, ends on December 15th. Okay. So All right. Okay. Um, now, you you also have nearly 200,000 members around, uh, of, you know, five Rhode Islanders that have uh, our members of them. So who are your members? So uh, at Neighborhood, we have three product lines. Uh, traditionally, we've been involved in the Medicaid managed care space. Uh, so we serve those uh, in Rhode Island that are eligible for Medicaid. We're also involved with the dual eligible population. So those are folks who are eligible for both Medicaid and Medicare. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we provide insurance for those who purchase for themselves or their families directly through HealthSource Rhode Island. Okay, so somebody who may not have health insurance through maybe where they work or something like that, correct? Right, so the, the state-based exchange, you can go and buy uh, either individual and they sell uh, small group insurance through the exchange also. Okay, all right, so this is the new card that you folks are uh, are talking about that you're rolling out. Tell us about uh, tell us about the new card. Right. So we're uh, issuing a, a new card. We'll get to the the reason why. We wanted to make sure we reached out to folks so they understood it's coming because mm -hmm. we all get a lot of junk mail. Yeah, we, we do. Yeah, that's we, true. <laughs> we wanted folks to understand this is not junk mail. Okay. These are these are new cards going to be issued to our members. Uh, we're issuing them because we've partnered with two new companies, uh, one to provide uh, pharmacy benefits and another to provide behavioral health benefits. Okay. So we've partnered with a. Uh, a small local outfit called CVS uh, yes. <laughs> to, to provide our pharmacy benefit plan. Um, we're really excited about, about some of the services that CVS can provide. We think it'll provide a lot more value to our members. And if you have your old card, chop it up. Yeah, if, if you have your old card, treat it like a credit card. Cut it up right. and, and dispose of it like you would a normal credit card. Okay. Um, the the one thing I would say though is be careful. Don't do that before the first of the year. Right. Because yeah, so, you may need it. Yeah. So if you if you have appointments that are coming up uh, before the end of the year, hold on to your hold on to your old card. Use that, and then when the time comes, uh, destroy the card and start to use the new one. So within the next couple of weeks, folks who who are members already will see this coming in the mail. Most should already have them. All right. So the mailings really started the first week of December, uh, and we were mailing about fifteen thousand cards a day for the first couple of weeks of the month. So. So most of them should be in the mailbox or hopefully sitting in the pile of mail. Okay. All right. And if you don't have it yet, give you folks a call just to make sure. Absolutely. Check on it. Make sure it didn't get lost some, someplace. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much for coming in. Uh, don't forget a new cards come out January 1st. And for more info from Neighborhood Health Plan of Rhode Island, you can visit roadshow.com.